In this week's video tech tip, we're going to focus on the status bar. It's the lower right hand corner of your SOLIDWORKS interface that has a lot of information if you know what to look for. So let's take a look at the status bar in this week's video tech tip. The first thing we're going to show is how it can be used to quickly measure length dimensions. I click on this edge here and I see 130 millimeters, here 90 millimeters, and this one 70. Any edge that we click on can be used for a dimension, a length dimension. It can also be used to measure the distance between two faces, the normal distance here, 200 millimeters. I'll show this again when I click on this face here and then the back face to show 90 millimeters. So it can be used for distances between faces and lengths of edges, but also radius. Here I have a radius of 10 millimeters. And now on this, a radius of five millimeters. So it can be used for diameters of circles as well, edges and faces. I can click on this cylindrical face here and see the radius of 25 millimeters. In addition to lengths and radii, it can be used to measure angles. I'll click on this face here and this face here, holding the control key to pick two faces, and I get the angle of 75 degrees. So that's the status bar. It can measure the length of edges, the distance between faces, radius of edges and cylindrical faces, as well as the angle between two faces. And to select multiple faces, again, the tip there is holding the control key. So that is the status bar in SOLIDWORKS.